Hi guys! Merry Christmas! I hope that you all had a fabulous Christmas holiday. I know for us it was a very busy day. Lots of food, lots of laughs. Uh, we played cards until late last night and uh, just enjoyed each other's company. It was a lot of fun. So today I thought after all of the hectic stuff of, of the holidays of the last minute shopping and all of the cooking and family coming and going for those of us that were able to see family. Um, I thought it might be nice just to have a relaxing live, something really simple, something easy to do, something you don't have to have a ton of supplies for, and something that you can actually put to use. And this one is a Tuscan olive oil tag. So a nice decorative tag that would hang around the neck of your bottle of olive oil in your kitchen. If you're anything like me, mine are out of my kitchen all the time. They're on the kitchen counter uh, where they're in easy reach because if there's one place in this house that I spend more time than I spend in the studio, it's in my kitchen. So that is our project for today. Uh, last live we had tons of giveaways. Those are heading out of here very, very soon. Uh, they didn't get out before the holiday. There was a bit of madness here. So um, they will go out first thing Monday morning. So everybody that uh, has been notified about it, uh, we only have one person left, I think. Uh, Linda McDonald. Linda McDonald, if you um, could send us a quick message, we have a nice little surprise pack for you. And uh, we'd like to get that out in the mail, but we need to know where we're sending it. So <laughs> let us know what, what your shipping information is so that we can take care of that for you. What else? What else? What else? Santa Claus was really good to me. Man, was he ever good to me. I got an amazing set of uh, the Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, those of you that uh, follow me know I have my latest obsession is anything and everything to do with colored pencils. And uh, I had asked for a set of uh, Prismacolor pencils for Christmas and Santa came through in a big way with the big 150 pencil set. So I can't wait to play with those. I'm very excited about those. And uh, Camera Guy got a little spoiled too. He got a bunch of goodies for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. He got coffee and some other goodies. And we have a very spoiled puppy upstairs who got a stocking full of goodies too. Yeah. So. Uh, my puppy got a lot of stuff. <laughs> the cup, yeah, the puppy got a lot of stuff. So, um, we're going to kick back, relax, and have a little bit of fun with this. This is a really simple project. Yeah. So uh, we're working on, um, this is a wooden tag. Yeah. Did you mess up? I haven't had enough coffee yet. So okay. Sorry. <laughs> that one and that one. There, there we go. Okay. Um, the tag... I had a couple of these. The tag that I used in the original piece is a little bit different. But the nice part about it is that this one can be done on almost any shape. Um, the only thing that's really important is perhaps the size. And they don't have to be all that big. I think this one is like two and a half by three. I don't think it's very big. And it's quite pretty. Got this little decorative thing going on. And the first step is to create sort of that Tuscan background. And that's actually very easy. We just need to create a little bit of texture. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of gesso. And I do mean a little bit. We don't need a ton for this. So I'll move that one out of the way. I'm using a very thin amount on this surface and knocking it down. I want to create just a little bit of background texture in there. So you don't need a ton. You can put it everywhere. Did he get his favorite glitter too? <laughs> no, I didn't get any glitter. No, he did not get glitter. So there My we go. My dog got a taco. <laughs> yeah, Dot got a taco for Christmas. She kept stealing it out of her sock, her stocking all, all week. So now I'm using just the whole flat of the blade and a very small amount of gesso just to create a very little texture on that. Just enough to break up that original surface. American 
one buy tags like that? These tags are from Viking Woodcrafts. You can get these off their website. They have them in a variety of sizes too, they, but I really like this one. But they're available from Viking Woodcrafts. Now this one is completely dry. I've put just a light coat of the gesso on this one. I'm going to set that one aside to dry so I don't put my elbow in it because you know I will. You already put your hand in your palette. I already dropped my hand in my palette and we weren't even on the air yet. <laughs> I'm hopeless some days. So the next step is to put a nice even base coat on. So I'm using a little bit of warm white. Didn't get glitter yet. Yes, yet. <laughs> So I'm putting just a sort of a slip slap, not so neat and tidy coat oh, <laughs> of warm white all over this surface. Kumsa. It's just going to create, it's not burying that completely. So it's just going to create a little background color. We have two more colors going over top of this, so we don't need to have it absolutely perfect. And I kind of like that I can still see that texture. So, neatness doesn't count. Perfection is to be avoided at all costs. Life is boring. <laughs> Where can I sign up for the giveaways? That's easy. You just did. You just did. Anytime that we have giveaways, on here all you have to do is leave us a comment and hit the share button that's it that's all and then we uh, use a random generator to select a winner and I do have a giveaway today oh, yeah, so one of the, yeah one of the brushes that I'm using today is called a dome blender this is from the dynasty decorator series and uh, I have a whole bouquet of them so um, there's a bunch of you gonna get a goodie today so don't forget to hit the share button and to uh, leave a comment in the comment section, even if it's just to say hi or to say Merry Christmas or, uh, or whatever your comment may be within reason. I mean, we do have, we want to keep our family or G rating. So <laughs> <laughs> Actually, keep it clean. I think on YouTube we're classified as PG-13. Okay, PG-13. something to do with waterboarding Santa. Okay. That was my fault. Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to dry this real quick. So this is already starting to give us that sort of rustic old world look, which I love personally. So this needs a little bit more color. So I'm going to use honey brown because I love honey brown. This is a great color. It's nice earthy, not quite a terracotta color, but close. And would love to have a dome blender to try, wink, wink. <laughs> Can you hand me a piece of that shop towel, please? That doesn't look like warm white. I, it is warm white. Or antique white. I am so sorry. It's antique white. Hello. I use warm white all the time. I forgot. I was even looking at the camera going, that really doesn't look like <laughs> <laughs> Yes, antique white, which I believe may even be a discontinued color. I'll have to look that up. Can they use but you can use buttermilk, any light colored, you know, neutral cream. cream color in the background will work just fine for this. So if you have buttermilk, that'll work. So I've got a little piece of shop towel here. I'm going to get it wet because I want to add this honey brown to this background and I'm going to do that with my high-tech applicator <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this in a circular fashion I'm starting at the edge I want to keep the darkest value of this to the outside edge like so watching and sharing watching and sharing <laughs> watching so and sharing. This does two things. One, it accentuates that texture in the background in a big way. And it warms up that antique white, kind of takes that, you know, that muddiness out of it. So now we've got this nice warm tone. And I love how the texture just pops up. But me, I love texture, so. My old PC is having a temper tantrum. <laughs> 
there we go. So now I have that nice, rich, warm. PA. Philadelphia. Is it Philadelphia or is yep. it Pennsylvania? Or Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Geography. <laughs> 101. So, <laughs> so now we've got that, that nice, rich, old world color going. I'm going to dry this oh thing. Oh my god, somebody from Hillside. Hillside. Hillside, Manitoba. Oh my goodness. Now, where is Hillside? Is that out? I believe it's... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember if you take Highway 9 up to it or if you go south. I can't remember if it's north or south. I know I've been there. Hmm. Just watch. It's going to be like east or west. <laughs> yeah, and you'll be completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been out there. Uh, did you use chalky gesso for the texture? Um, no, actually, I used the media gesso for this one. I just I like this one because it's a little heavier bodied. It's a little thicker, and so I get nice texture. But you really don't need to use a ton of it. So, of course, being me and this being you know one of my favorite subjects. Um, anything to do with Tuscany. I'm using a little bit of a schfaltum. Surprise! No. <laughs> I know, you're stunned to tears. <laughs> so I'm going to age the edge of this a little bit with just a float of a schfaltum. Somebody's watching from Dartmouth? Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Oh, it's Kitty Grant. Hi, Kitty. You've got a prize coming your way, dear. So there we go. I'm putting that little float in the outside. Look what a difference this makes. Having that little float of asphaltum on the outside edge. I love how this looks. Now, from this point, you could do almost anything on this background. They could put a floral on this. Snowy Idaho. Ooh, yes. Snow? Snow in Idaho. Wow. Idaho is a nice state. It's a lovely state. So there I go. Look boo, at that. Boo, boo. I used to live there. <laughs> Delma Leopard Region. From Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, Winterpeg. Winterpeg. We spent a lot of t a long time in Winnipeg. Yep. So there we have it. See what that little bit of asphaltum does to the outside edge. It ages it just nicely, but it also makes this section in the middle pop right up. So you get this nice aged look with a little bit of a highlight area in the center. Now, this one has olives on it. I'm going to freehand the design on, but the project sheet that is on the website actually has the line drawing on it. So you don't need to worry about it, but I'm going to just freehand mine on. And put the olives on. I don't Our know what white it is. Christmas arrived after dark last night. <laughs> we did not have a white Christmas. We actually had the hottest Christmas on record. It was a lovely, what, 18 degrees? It was 18 degrees Celsius here yesterday, <laughs> which was warmer than Florida. <laughs> That's <Florida>. amazing. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. In Florida <laughs> freezing in Florida today. I'm so sorry. We got all your warm. No, we're, not. we're not sorry. Oh, I am. I don't like the warm in December. It's too much. <laughs> we're up north and we're warm. Yeah. Mind you, it's cold today. It is damp today. It's yeah. not that cold. It's still like five degrees Celsius, which is nothing. 60 degrees here in upstate New York melted the two feet of snow we got here in the week. <laughs> <laughs> yup. So I've just freehanded my olive design on. And to those of you, I know I'm going to get a lot of flag for that one. But <laughs> What's that? <laughs> drawing things on freehand. Uh, what? <laughs> but 
uh, this one's just a simple olive design. It's nothing major. I've just, you know, the line drawing is in the project sheet. You'll find that in the freebie section on the website. And maybe the camera guy will actually put the website up on the screen. Maybe. There it goes. <laughs> that website? That's the one. Sure. You I know think which so. website I just put up? It better be mine. Okay. <laughs> be like Pornhub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have my olives in place. Now I'm going to base coat everything the same color. And we lost our PG rating. Did we? I'm yeah. sorry. Because you PG said Pornhub. <laughs> PG-13 now. So I'm going to base coat the olives and the leaves with antique green. I like this green. It does have a true olive look, like the color of olives. Is that 14, 14 feet of snow? What? Where's that? Where you got 14 feet? could be... Uh, <laughs> She could be in Happy Valley. Oh, that's 14 <laughs> inches? 14 inches. Double. Yeah, it's yeah, inches. It's inches. <laughs> Unless they're in Happy Valley Goose Bay. <laughs> <laughs> if they're in Goose Bay, they're not going anywhere. Nope. Not until June of next year. <laughs> oh, the thaw. <laughs> Happy Valley Goose Bay is in Labrador. You get um, snow up to the top of the telephone poles. Yeah, it. Uh, you've probably all seen the photographs where it shows them using a, a backhoe to clear highways. Well, that is quite honestly the highway to Happy Valley. <laughs> Why they call it Happy it. Valley, I have no idea, but... Uh, did you draw that on with a regular lead pencil? I did. I just used a plain, let me see which one this is. It's a 3B graphite drawing pencil. It's... The details are going to get pretty in-depth here, so I'm going to zoom in. And you're going to zoom in? Yeah, so don't move it up or down. Okay. It stays right there. Yeah. So I base coated all of this with the same color. This is antique green. It's my favorite green. I love this. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> Drawing freehand. <laughs> Can't draw a straight line. Neither can I. Yeah. Straight lines are no fun. No, straight lines are difficult to do. Love the Celtic knot bracelet. Oh. Yes. Actually, I, um, when I was getting... I didn't realize you were wearing that. Uh, when I was getting dressed this morning, I, I love this bracelet. It was given to me by a very dear friend, and I haven't seen her in forever. If you're watching, let us know who you are. She knows who she is. Miss V, Miss Veronica. Ah. Every time I wear it, I think of her. So, And she's been on my mind. Haven't seen my girlfriends, like my crazy girlfriends, my friends at FM, my, I don't know, other than some FaceTime calls and... Uh, Whatnot. And we usually see each other quite a bit throughout the year from, you know, going to trade show and trade show after trade show. But um, with things the way they are, and we haven't been able to see each other. So Warm and sunny in central Texas. Uh, maybe they're happy when all of the snow melts. <laughs> <laughs> they can see the ground. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why it's called Happy Valley. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. We're happy when the snow's good. Yeah. So there, I have two quick coats of antique green on these leaves. I'm just base coating with a number two rigger. That fills in things nicely. So I'm going to dry this real quick. Winter in Vancouver, BC. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty close to the truth. Got a cousin up there. Is he in Vancouver? He, yeah, he's in Vancouver. He's in Vancouver, actually. Yep. Yeah. 
So now that we have those base coated, we have to start shading these. Now I'm using um, for these leaves, ordinarily I would use black green, but I have gone through my stash and I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use what I have. And in this case, it's sap green, but if you have black green, it works beautifully. So we need to shade these leaves. And I'm going to shade them right down the center line. I want to establish that shadow right off the bat. Right to the point. Why are we frozen? I don't know. Good on this end. And I'm going to put another shadow down the center of this one. And on this one. So I've established those shadows. It's the holidays to oh, expect interruptions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll dry that real fast so that we can continue on. Are you having that problem? Oh. So I'm going to shade underneath that four leaf with that same black green or sap green, just like so. And then I'm going to shade underneath that olive back here, just to separate these two. It's probably Facebook. Yeah, because everything on this end is, oh, actually we're running a little slow, but it shouldn't cause freezing. Mm -hmm. Because our connection is great. Yep. We're all good down here. So I have the shading in on those leaves, and now I have to start shading these olives. Now I'm using soft black for this. The reason I chose this color is because it has a little bit of a purplish cast, sort of like a black olive. And with that little bit of red. So it works very well on this antique green. So we're going to shade under the olive like so on that side and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side but it's going to be a little narrower and then we do the same on okay. the other olive yeah we're good on this end everything's good so I'm just putting a nice float of that soft black on the underside of that olive, like so. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, Just Turned like off that. my Bluetooth, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> so when I shade these olives with that soft black, I'm leaving the center portion of the olive as the green. Wow, <laughs> it's really lagging behind now. <laughs> and I'm going to deepen that shadow like so, but I'm always leaving that center portion of the olive a bit of green. Would you have added black to your antique green, or would that be too harsh? I think it would have been too harsh. The black green is a bit more transparent, so it, it works rather well. <laughs> is the heat gun really better than the hair dryer? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the no. heat gun is not better than a hair dryer. You can actually burn the paint. You can actually burn the paint, exactly. So you have to use it on a lower setting. Um, a hair dryer will work. A, a hair dryer will work fine. I generally will tell people to avoid using the heat mm. because it will cook, especially if you're, you're painting a lot. If you're working with thin layers of paint like we are now, it's not too, too bad, but I prefer not to use too much heat. We have reached our high temperature for the day here in Pennsylvania. That is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, it's a bit nippy. <laughs> so my highlight color... Toss on a bunny hug, you're good. My highlight color for this is margarita. Yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of questions. What the hell is that? Bunny hug. 
people from Saskatchewan Which one will, will know what that <laughs> will know exactly what a bunny hug is. So I'm just oh, putting a weak float of margarita on these leaves. I'm not using a ton of color because we're going to brighten this in a bit. Raining, raining now. Snow disappeared. Fast metro. <laughs> fast in metro. <laughs> Yeah, I actually just saw videos of the snow in BC, <laughs> uh, in Vancouver, actually. <laughs> Bus sliding down hills. And... Yeah. Can you use sap green and, and then soft black? Yes, I would imagine so. Just make sure you use the soft black thin. Thin it out so that it's a bit more transparent. Okay, so I have a little bit of margarita on there we have our shading in place so now comes the fun part we're going to get to use this I love this thing this thing? this is a dome blender it's an ideal oh, yeah. what is this thing <laughs> we, just talked about it we five did five minutes ago lights are on nobody's <laughs> home I need more coffee. so I've loaded this up so that it's almost dry and I'm going to put Hi, Linda. Is that Linda O'Connell? No, that is uh, Linda Cronk. Hi, Linda Cronk. <laughs> <laughs> Just popped up and said, hi. That's it. That was the extent, that was of, the extent of it. <laughs> <laughs> All good. <laughs> so I'm putting a dry brushed highlight using that dome blender onto that olive, just using that margarita. Is there a mix to make soft black? Uh, you can actually take lamp black and throw a little bit of red into it. Lamp black and red to make soft black? It doesn't make a true soft black, but it'll give you that, it'll take enough of the the harshness out of it that you it'll it'll work. Yeah. It's out of stock everywhere. You have sap green on the leaves and soft black on the olives. <laughs> so I'm just dry brushing a little highlight. Oh yeah, you didn't even make mention of this. What's that? Somebody just asked, is the pattern available on your website? And what is it called? Well, well It I is know. called Tuscan Olive Oil Bottle Tag, or the Tuscan Tag. And it is on the freebie section of my website. So it's absolutely yes, free. It's absolutely free. It's a free download. There you go. There's the website. you got to find this section called freebies. Yep. If you look in the menu at the top of the page, you'll see more. Click on more, it'll usually be the second or third one down. So I'm just dry brushing and I'm staying towards the upper side of this with that margarita. Yes, you will be able to watch the video later. It's going up on YouTube and the replay will be available as soon as we go off air. Yep. And I'm going to grab a little bit of warm white. I'm going to brighten that highlight. Oof, what a mess. <laughs> can't believe you're back at it already. <laughs> so I'm picking up a little of that margarita, but I'm also going to pick up a tiny amount of the warm white. I'm going to make a slightly brighter and more opaque version of that margarita. And I'm going to put that highlight. It's a little smaller than the previous one and a little higher up on the olive. Cold as Christmas in Florida since 1995. We're freezing down here. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Everybody goes to Florida as soon as the snow hits. <laughs> now who's laughing? You should find out what 18 degrees Celsius is in Fahrenheit. There we go. See if we can gloat a little more. Yeah. So now I've gotten that, see how much brighter that little highlight has gotten. I'm going to do the same thing to the leaves. 64. 64 degrees. 64 <laughs> degrees. That's unheard of here. No kidding. Especially just, this time of year. Especially at this time of year. 64 degrees. Uh, it was very balmy. I'm in Florida and it's 29 this morning. Yeah, it's a little brisk. When you're when you're accustomed to sixty degrees, seventy degrees. Snow on Vancouver Island. First white Christmas in a very long time. 
So there's that little dry brush highlight. And again, I'm only using a small amount of that warm white and that margarita green. Don't worry if you get it over top of that shadow down the center vein. We're going to put that back in. Are we? we are. I know, she's doing really good at keeping it in the frame. <laughs> I'm I do dry. I haven't even had to tell her to keep it in frame. So there is our little highlight. What I like about this dome blender is that it, it's fairly small. And so it fits into some small little spaces and gives you the ability to put nice little dry brushed highlights in without, you know, too much effort. Cold and snowy in southern Ohio. That kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> well, we're supposed to get some snow this afternoon, but I'll be very impressed if it stays. There's no snow on the ground right now. No. It's... So, now that I've gotten some highlight onto those leaves, I'm going to... <laughs> Random generator. I love the dome blender. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so the last thing I need to do to these olives is to brighten that highlight yet again and I'm going to do that in that upper portion and it's a very small highlight just like that you got an interruption on this end wow so there we are okay so now I want to, I'm going to take a smaller angled shader and I'm going to clean up a bunch of things on here. I'm going to load up my angle with a little of that sap green or the black green or whichever dark green you're using. And this is where I get to clean up some of those areas, crisp up some of those shadows. and define them a little bit more. Nope. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing on this <laughs> olive and leaf. In Florida, no, not the temperature, the video. Yeah. Uh, I and don't know what's going on. Oh. There we go. So just to quickly explain when you're highlighting something that like an olive, something that's round, let me show you with a pencil because this is the easiest way to explain it. So here is our olive. And we have a, the light is striking the forward and upper side of this olive. So that first highlight is a dry brush like this to put it into context. So it covers about two-thirds of the surface. The second highlight comes a little short of the edge at the top and is slightly smaller than the first one and slightly brighter. No, these interruptions won't show up in the YouTube video. They're recorded separately. And then the next highlight is again slightly shorter than the one before it. And then that final highlight is like this. It's smaller and towards the upper edge. So what it creates is a gradual change in how much light. So we use the, the darker value of the greens for the first highlight, adding a touch of white for the second to make it a little bit brighter. The third highlight is again a little more white to get a little bit brighter. And then the final highlight, which is this portion here, is called the light impact point. And this one is the brightest value that you make. So it is a white, pardon me, it is a green made with a little bit more white. So it is a little bit brighter yet. And that is your light impact point. After, after all that? <laughs> yeah, we picked up your pencil in the video here. <laughs> so there you have it. You have that nice little olive motif in the center. Now you can take your favorite fugly brush 
much like mine, my favorite fugly brush. I'm going to get it wet and pick up a little bit of asphaltum. And I'm going to spatter this to age it a little bit more. Oh, Pumps up. Really behind. <laughs> <laughs> People are just answering that. What's, what's 18 degrees Celsius? So there it is. That is our little tag. Now the fun part about this from this point, we can do some fun stuff. We can add a little bit of bling to this. We, gold. Yeah, we can take our gold and do the edges with that gold paint pen. I like to make sure that it gets some of that gold on the front. Oh my, make room for a border. Yeah, you could put a little gold along the edges. This pen has had the biscuit. There's my good one. There it is. 13 degrees Fahrenheit in southern Ohio. <laughs> Burr! Oof. That's a little chilly. That is a little chilly. So I've got a brand new one here. I have to prime this. These actually are very easy to prime. You're just, you see there, you just pump them on the surface. Shake them. Shake them. There we go. Look, it's got some gold paint coming. There it is. I knew eventually I would kill one. So I'm just using that gold paint pen to put a nice little border on. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be irregular. Personally, I think it's more fun when they're not perfect. Just like so. What a beautiful gift idea. A nice bottle of olive oil in this tag. Beautiful and quick. Exactly. Easy peasy. Love how it's all coming together. What a wonderful way to relax after all the excitement of the fest. Yeah. So to finish this out, it'd be really simple. You just drill a couple of small holes in the upper corners and then put a nice little gold chain so that it hangs around the neck of the bottle. Or you could use wire or ribbon if you so choose. I mean, whatever you have on hand. Most of us have a stash of small little tags and ornaments and whatnot, you know, in our own personal stash. So these are a really great way to use those up. You could change it up, make it from olive oil into vinegar and add you know, a small flower or juniper berries or just some small botanical would look really pretty on this. Black olives. Black olives would be great. So the, the pattern for this is available on the website. It has a quick step out, the color supply list, and of course a, a simple line drawing. You can find that on the website. So this is a real quick, really easy, and an elegant looking piece that's really fast and fun. <laughs> Hi again, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I know that the festive season has been very busy for all of us, even though we don't... Uh, and apparently the internet. <laughs> and apparently the internet, even though we don't have the opportunity to uh, spend our time with family and extended family and friends as much as we would like to. Hopefully you got to spend time with those that matter most. So like I did, we had our, our small little family as close knit as we are. We celebrated the holidays with lots of food and some wine and lots of laughs, which is normal around here. And a so, dog. And a dog. <laughs> Miss Dot kept us entertained over the holidays as well. Yeah. So um, I know that you've got so much on your plate like you everybody have else. companion pieces to go with this? With this, um, I have tons of Tuscan things on my website. Yeah, you love I love anything stuff. Tuscan. I love anything with this, you know, textures and, and whatnot. One of my favorite pieces is called Sangiovese, and it's, it's a very rustic looking piece. I love that one. There's a few different ones on the website. Um, so I think that's about it for me today. I hope that you had a great holiday. I know that we did, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for participating every Saturday with these. This has been so much fun. We are going to continue into the new year. We've got a bunch of fun things planned. So. I need, I need a calendar. Uh oh, he needs know. a calendar. What does he need a calendar for? Oh, I gotta see what. When you're, so your next live is on the second. I actually, you guys are gonna lock in because I have a live on the first.
Oh, uh, so I, we have a double one. I am going live on the DecorWord Inc. Facebook page on January 1st. So oh, join me there. It is a quick class on basic color theory. It's going to be a lot of fun and we have a nice little project for you too. So join me there. Uh, I believe we're on at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the DecorWord uh, Deck Inc. Facebook page. Yep, Linda McDonald. <laughs> she okay excellent no, and you, you still need linda mcdonald oh okay don't forget uh linda mcdonald don't forget to send us your uh, uh shipping information because we have a prize pack for you <laughs> and what else what else what else we go live on the 2nd of january on yep. the tracy Moreau live page we'll have a brand new project for you it's going to be fun and this is going up on youtube as soon as we we're done yep okay. so Okay, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you again. Mwah. Love ya. Stay safe.